I'm Kathleen Henderson from Roots and Boots and in this video I'm going to show you our farm stand. We started this farm stand a few years ago in an effort to help our boys sell their eggs. My oldest son raises ducks and sells duck eggs. Sorry about all that traffic. And my middle son raises heritage breed chickens that lay beautifully colored eggs in blues and greens and now a dark chocolate brown. And we also sell regular chicken eggs, just regular brown chicken eggs from our big flock of laying hens. We were selling eggs mostly to just friends and by word of mouth. And we actually have a lot of friends at church with us who like to buy our eggs. And so we usually take a big like egg delivery with us on Sundays to church and our friends pick them up there. But we really wanted a way to connect our boys with more customers, again, for their duck eggs and their, we call Creed's eggs, the um, specialty mix, the specialty eggs. And so a couple years ago, we built this farm stand. A funny story for you from our family history is that these posts have been with us for, for a long time. My husband and I, years ago, in our little suburban area in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we're walking around the neighborhood one evening on an evening walk. And somebody was just getting rid of these posts. I think they were their old like porch posts. And I loved them. I was really into the shabby chic look back then. And so I was like, let's take them home. You know, we can use them for something. And so we <laughs> kept those posts for years. We moved with those posts from Texas to Virginia and my husband was always grumbling about them like these posts take up all this room and you know they're heavy and you know when are you ever going to use them for anything. Well years later here at the farm we finally found a great use for them in making this farm stand. So he was happy that we finally found a use and I was happy to have them as a part of our farm stand. Mostly we sell eggs at the farm stand. We have experimented with selling a few other items. My oldest son is an artist and a naturalist. He does beautiful drawings, nature themed drawings. And so he sells hand illustrated note cards and we often keep those here at the stand. And we've also sold loofah sponges, homegrown loofah sponges. And when I have a lot of tomatoes, we will put extra tomatoes at the stand. This year, we're gonna be trying something new. I'm not gonna share any more details about it now, but let's just say our farm stand will be expanding and you'll wanna stay tuned to watch that journey unfold. Here is a peek at what it looks like to set up the farm stand every morning. This is my middle son, Creed. He was the guy in charge of this process every day for over a year. By the time you watch this video, our process has changed a little bit and now my oldest son is in charge of setting up the farm stand every morning and Creed, the middle guy, is the one who closes it all up in the evening at the end of the day. Every morning they load the cooler with chicken eggs. It's mostly chicken eggs and also several cartons of duck eggs. We also have this red flag that says open that we like to put out when the stand is open. So whoever sets up the farm stand in the morning is also responsible for putting out the red open flag. a cash box this is all on the honor system and it's worked really well for us we weren't sure how that would go but it's worked well this year we put out a small bowl of quarters to help people make change if they're paying cash and we have a Venmo code and a PayPal code we accept cash Venmo and PayPal we also have a little sign with our hours 
We're closed on Sundays, but Monday through Saturday we're open about 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. We have this chalkboard sign where we display the prices, mostly of the eggs and also for my son's note cards. We really appreciate it when our customers sign in here. It just helps us make sure that the right money goes to the right kids, the right places. And we also have a way for folks to sign up to receive our newsletter. We also have a code that they can scan and just sign up themselves directly on our website. We are keeping eggs in the cooler. It's not an issue right now in early spring when we have just opened the farm stand, but later in the summer when it gets pretty hot out here, we like to have a way to keep the eggs cool. And we do actually put ice in there to help keep the eggs cool. And then we have this little sign that explains which kid is selling which eggs. It also has the prices One thing that we experimented with a lot at the beginning was we actually had the stand sitting up there. If you can see that sign that says uh, only deliveries past this point. So people had to pull all the way in the driveway to access the farm stand. And we weren't really thrilled with the way that was working. So we played around with a couple different locations for the farm stand and this is what we've landed on is it's parallel to the driveway so it faces our driveway and it's perpendicular to the road we are right here next to a road that gets a fair amount of traffic and that has worked really well we've been really pleased with it one slight problem that we have I will say a couple of issues that we've had is that people will just pull into the driveway and they'll sit in the driveway, they'll block the driveway and do their thing at the farm stand. And we've had an issue a couple of times where we were trying to get in or out of the driveway and people are in our way. So we put up a sign. Here's the sign that people should be able to see when they're standing here at the farm stand. And then we do have a designated parking area right here. But we understand that it's kind of hard to tell that's parking because it's just grass like the rest of the field. And we, like I said, have some plans to improve and upgrade the situation here. One other issue that we face far more frequently than you might imagine is that people will actually come up to our house looking for eggs. So we're like, we're not sure how to make it any more clear that the eggs are right there at the farm stand. But I think that with our coming upgrades, it's going to be even more clear to people where to find the eggs and other products that they're looking for. Funny story, one day I was sitting at our kitchen island, I don't remember what I was doing, working on something, and somebody literally opened our front door and came into our house, looked like it was a store or something, like looking for eggs. It was this guy and he had his girlfriend with him out in the driveway and he I'll never forget the eye contact that we made he came in the door and I looked up from the island and we like looked at each other and he was like oh <laughs> I think he was it was dawning on him that he was literally walking into somebody's house so I mean he was nice and I was nice and thankfully I like had clothes on and all of that and we had a nice conversation I explained where he could find the eggs but Anyway, it's been an adventure and I'm just thrilled for our boys to have a way to connect their wonderful, pastured, fresh, you know, free range eggs with a customer base. And we are super excited about the changes coming soon to our farm stand. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you're in the Northern Virginia area and you'd like to swing by our farm stand, you can find the location and the details at our farm website, which is rootsandbootshomestead.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my Roots and Boots YouTube channel for more homesteading, homeschooling, home-based content here on YouTube.